What's going on, people? We are continuing our black and white series. This is Garrett Brown Art Studio, and I'm back with another video. Better than ever. Good to see you. Let's get started. Here I am mixing up my paints. This is my Blick acrylic paint, and there we have our Elmer's glue. And now we are going to add a little bit of GAC 800 for flow and to help with the drying to prevent cracking. There are no exact measurements in this experiment, but it's easy to see what I'm doing. And lastly, we're going to add a little bit of water. Hope you enjoy these sound effects. <laughs> and baby, we about to stir like crazy. And look at that gorgeous consistency. Very fluid. So I've been on this black and white kick here lately. Um, I'll link a description to some of the previous ones, but these are my colors today and I'm not gonna do a lot on mixing because you can check out my previous two videos. However, I am going to show you my TLP for this video. So we have our peanut grease and another pigment. Um, this was sent to me by a friend, so I don't really know what brand or what it is, but it's really, really pretty. It's kind of hard to see. And this is pearl lilac. Can you see that's what it's gonna look like? So I'm gonna add some of that in as well. So we are gonna do our usual black and white that we've been doing for our base. And my recipe has changed a little bit each time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you know the routine. I use recycled cups. And I always start one base with black and one with white. All right, so our first bit of interference is gonna go in. Just gonna add a little bit here and there. All right, let's pour.
So what may be hard to see on screen is all of that iridescent is showing up as this really gorgeous purple. And I think when we stretch this out, we will see little bits of iridescent here as well. I see it right here. It is really, really pretty. And this might be the prettiest ring I have done so far um, in this black and white series. So we got our entire canvas covered and now we're going to add our colors. All right, I'm going to load up my cell activator. All right, what a pretty swipe. So I'm going to continue the theme that we have down here, up here, hopefully. <laughs> We're about to see how that's going to go. I don't want to cover all this up, so I'm going to make a hard turn, or at least attempt to make a hard turn.
Look at my swipe tool. <laughs> All right. I feel like we got a lot going on here. Let's make something pretty out of this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are almost done. I know you couldn't see it all, and I apologize, but working in a small space, sometimes that happens. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are. What do you think? I'm going to tell you what I think. <laughs> I love the composition. Obviously my favorite part because that's just freaking amazing those big juicy cells. I love this movement right here and this and My cells got a bit wonky, but that's okay um, And I like how the movement I like this swipe because it breaks up, you know, it breaks some things up This is kind of cool, but I'm not sure how I feel about it um now on this side, I love this area right here. And uh, I don't like this big blob of black. However, that negative space creates a breather because the piece is busy, all the contrast, and allows you to focus on this. Check out my sides here. Of course, I'm gonna get you in for a quick close-up. Check out that iridescent right there. That's gonna be gorgeous when it dries. Ooh, look at those pretty cells. And then let me show you the iridescent lilac. It's really pretty. And a big blob. So I tried something different with my embellishments and I kind of created like a little series of swirls to take away some of the interest of the black. Um, but ultimately I didn't, I couldn't think of anything that I really liked. Um, and I didn't want to make the piece more busy than it already is. And I made it more busy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the final wet look.
I like this orientation the best. And of course, don't forget to clean your edges and sides to avoid drips. I'm going I appreciate you watching my videos. I am so appreciative of the emails and the checkups. Um, I was a little bit under the weather. That's neither here nor there because I have to remind you to do everything with love. Treat your friends, your family, and even your enemies with love. And I definitely felt the love that you guys have shown me over the last week or so. We are going to transition to the end of the black and white series. I think I have a couple more paintings that I want to show, try some different things. It has been so much fun um, and I'm so appreciative of the inspiration that I got from Molly's Artistry. Definitely check her out if you haven't seen her series. That's it. I don't have much more to say, but I hope you have an amazing productive day. I will see you in the very near future.